Hello, my farming friends. How the heck are you? Welcome back to the Flag Waving Rustic Acres, established 1962. Why did I say that, apples? Oh boy, it's been a while, it's been about a week, and I apologize profusely for that, but uh, you know what? I found out two things. I am not Bob Vila. That is a given. And second thing, when dealing with sheet metal, you should wear gloves. I tell you what, I have like more cuts on my hands than um, Nancy Pelosi has eggs in her face. I'm telling you, it's, it's something else. Um, but anyways, it's going to be back. Thanks for, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for joining me. Rustic Acres, an awesome, awesome map. We are on the third day of mid-spring, 941 in the morning. we got to turn that back up here, trying to get the, uh, the lowdown. But anyways, yeah, it's been, it's been about a week. I was busy doing a little um, home construction project down here in the man cave. Or, as uh, Sophie would say, the little uh, she shack. I don't know. Is, is that a thing? I, I think it's a thing. But anyways, yeah, we did some reconstruction for the whole week. It took me the, it took me the whole week all by hand, all homemade. So I'm kind of excited about that. So it's good to be here. It feels comfy down here. You betcha. But anyways, we got to get back to work. Holy crap, it's been way too long. Get back to work. We have some crops to plant in the ground. The other thing, excuse me, that, oh, that was a big slimy beetle that I got in my mouth. Um, I got some fields to plant. I got some animals to take care of. I don't kind of go from there. Second year, third day of mid-spring, like I said, it's uh, 50 degrees outside, 48 degrees of temperature. Now, I want to plant some corn. Sophie, you need to get that repainted. Look at how bad the over the winter the paint has faded on the house. Come on. Um, let's see. Yeah, I got some planting to do corn. 50 degrees soil temperature for corn. Holy crap, those hops are huge. Look at that. Wow, it can make a hop maze. Um, so I want to get that done in animal. I'll tell you what, with the season... Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for saving the first two minutes. I appreciate that, my friend. Uh, with this new... Wait, I'm on the wrong button here. Um, I, I got to tell you, this is the cat's meow right here. This uh, updated uh, seasons uh, menu they have. Boy, I, I'm liking this. So pigs. Got to get the pigs some straw. Uh, the sheep need some grass or hay, and the cows need some TMR, basically what we're looking at. Uh, chickens are okay, and the horses are okay. Now, I, I, I went through here, and I, and I thought, yeah, we got a horse with no name. Uh, we have a horse called Dower is Big. We got an old-timer horse. We got six pop horse. We got a jockey golf horse. We got a new wall horse. We got a Zeker streaker horse. We have a farmer bin here and a Jake break so far. The other ones here, they, they haven't tell me their names yet, so I can't put them in here. But, yeah, we got all kinds of those fancy-looking horses there. Isn't that nice? Look at this one, Zeker streaker. That is a Tennessee walking horse. Awesome. Six, six with a pop-up. Yeah, um, an old-timer. They, they're a little behind on their bills. They got to get that with the program there. So, let's get some uh, hay over to the, uh, hop into the fancy New Holland TM140. Let's get some hay over, ooh, look at that, that is a nice looking tractor. Uh, get some, I, third time I'm going to say it, get some hay over to the sheep, for crying out loud, we'll do that. I, you know what I like about this tractor, is you, you sit farther back in the, in the seat. I'm kind of, I'm not one of those guys that can sit right up on the steering wheel. That just makes me so uncomfortable. Like, if I get into Sophie's car, I mean, I, I'm literally, my knees are touching my uh, chest. It's, it's, it's terrible. Let's see, where do I got to go here? I got to get with the low, oh, come on, little Prius butthole. There you go. They even have them here. I tell you what, multi-games in the Prius butthole is still here. Anyway, let's get over to the uh, storage. We'll grab some uh, hay, and we'll, yeah, drive in the grass, then why don't you, buddy? And we'll grab some of that and get over to the sheep. I think... I don't know, one bill? We could bring two bills over there. We could stick the other one inside. We'll do that real quick. And then, like I said, I want to get some corn planted. And the corn is going to follow the cotton. So we got to get the, uh, where the, uh, hop out of here. Let's see, this is our, um, that is a straw. We don't want straw. We want, we don't want silage. We want this one. We want some hay. So let's grab some hay. We'll take, um, let's see, we'll take two of them. We'll take Oh, crap, we don't want 15. What is going on here? We don't want 15. We'll take two. I just want two. Just two. Two, please. There you go. Uh, what movie is that from? Two. Just just two. I, I can't remember. It'll come to me. Um, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love it. So, we'll grab these two bales. Where do they go? Uh, this side? Oh, did I, already, did I already grab two? Maybe I already had two here. Hopefully, I can fork two. I'm a pretty good forker. Uh, there we go. Oh, crap. What's going on here? Um, I wanted it. What is going on? I want two. I want two bales. Where do they go? Um, what the heck is going on here? Um, did I not confirm it? Yeah, see, it went down. 
Yeah, they're supposed to be there. How come I can't fork them? This is really going to suck if I can't fork these bales. Um, nothing worse than a, a bad forker. Come on. It won't let me, it won't let me fork them. What in the world? This is a stupid, stupid thing. Oh, man. Got two bales. I'll have to figure that out. That is just the craziest thing. Why well, I can't, uh, I can't fork them. But we'll cut through here. We'll give the, uh, sheep some hay. Good old fashioned sheep. I like this tractor. I really, really, really do. Uh, I, I tell you what, I'm a big fan of this, um, this new layout. Did I go past the sheep? Those are the pigs. Oh, sheep back there. Well, let's see. Do we have well behaved? We have well-behaved pigs. We can open our little gate here. I like our little gate system. I, I do. I like that a lot. We'll open that up. We'll cruise through there. And now we better go open this gate here, too. Ooh, crap. I must have eaten my weeds this morning. I can run. Um, open up that gate. I should have went back the other way. I probably should not have these gates open. I'm going to get yelled at. Sophie Sophie hates open gates. I tell you what. She just yells at me like that. It's, it's okay. I probably deserve it. But we'll cut through the pigs. Hi, pigs. You're looking good, pig. Oh, pigs need straw. We'll get the pigs some straw, too. And then I want to get the other New Holland tractor hooked up to the uh, planter. And we'll get that taken care of there right away. Let's see. The plumber came in. He fixed all our plumbing issues. So I'm excited about that. Oh, look at that. We have some wool already. That is nice. Let's see. Here you go, sheep. Have some hay. Good looking hay for you. Oh, look at that. Uh, we got plenty of hay there. Well, we can leave them. They're indoors. So we'll leave that and we'll give them some more when they need it. Now, I got to get the uh, pigs some straw, right? Wasn't that what we were doing here? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Get the cows some total mixed ration. I got to give the uh, open pig area needs straw. The closed area needs straw. And they need some, some pig food, too. So I have some other work to do. Let me get the... Uh, I got I got a monkey around with that bale thing there. That's, that's just absolutely crazy. Get that figured out. And um, kind of go from there, and then we'll have to give the cows some total mixed ration. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. Forgot about the Emily. Yeah, the Emily straw blower. I forgot all about that. I got to give them uh, some straw here. So I went to pick this thing up. I got two bales sitting over here. So we're going to give this a shot and see how this thing works. I'm kind of excited to try it. Um, let's see. We'll just uh, park this right here. I got the bale sitting right here. I, I, I totally forgot about the straw blower thing. You know what? That's what happens when, you, uh, when you're when you gone for a while. You just kind of have memory lapses and forget things, and that's exactly what's happening to me here with these um, these pigs. Look out, pigs. Oh, there's some good-looking bacon. I like bacon. Anyways, the other thing I was thinking about is, and I put a little poll question, the last three uh, maps that came out for all platforms. I, you know what? I don't know if you're like me. You, you look at maps, you think you get excited, then you don't get excited, then you try it out for a little bit. And things seem to go okay, and then you have problems. So I think a lot of them has problems. I, I think and the updates are going to be needed. But then, you know what? That's that's just the way it goes. That is just the way it goes. Now, I think that I, if I remember right, right here by the straw. Whoa, crap! Oh, crap! I bet the Emily. Um, come on! I want to get a symbol. I want to get a symbol somewhere. Um, there we go. Yeah. Whoa! whoa look at that thing. Oh, right off the back, I should have I should have parked better. That was some bad parking there, but we'll, we'll blow that. Oh, crap, they had no straw. Look at all the straw disappearing there all of a sudden. Nice. That's some good straw. Got that taken care of. There's my other bale sitting there. I'll have to, um, I'm going to have way too much straw because these uh, piggies, the outdoor piggies and the indoor piggies, are not going to um, need all this straw, I guess. Oh, crap, there he goes. We'll blow that in there for them. Oh, it's outside the building. Oh, bad straw blower. It's okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, we got that taken care of. Um, oh, it took all. The, it took the whole bill. So that's pretty good. So then what I can do is I can um, drop that off there again too. We'll pick up this bale here. We'll put that in the straw blower. Then we'll go return the straw blower to its outstanding parking spot. You know what? I, I got to give my good buddy golf cart Jackie credit because he is actually taking lessons from me and getting this stuff cleaned up and put away and filled up because um, you know I'm a big stickler for that I, I really am I gotta have things filled up whenever you're done using it always make sure it has fuel always make sure it's washed and get it put back to play so I see I see he's been doing that uh, yeah he sent me a screenshot message of all his fancy equipment all there parked and washed and fueled and I, I, I'm proud of him I am really proud of him but uh, Mrs. Jockey has been talking to uh, Sophie 
And apparently they got some conniving thing with this Sophie this and that going on. And I told Gulf Guard, I said, man, you, you be careful. When you, when you start that uh, Sophie this and that stuff, it's a dangerous, slippery slope, my friend. Dangerous. Oh, crap. Come on. Oh, oh, that was a close one. Uh, yeah, dangerous, slippery slope. So you really got to be careful about that. That's just um, very, very, very scary. So we'll put the straw blower back in its spot. And then I'm going to get the other tractor. I'm going to get that hooked up to the Massey Ferguson planter. And like I said, it's, it's soil temperature wise, we're a little on the cool side, but two degrees is not so bad. I mean, two degrees is very, where in the heck? Oh, yeah. Uh, very, very doable. So we can get that done and get the corn planted. Like I said, corn follows the cotton in our rotation. So we're going to go up to the um, field over by the old Nixon Farm Shop Machine Repair. I hope that boy is doing well. I really do. I, I, mean, I miss him around here. I, I know he had other adventures and he, you know, he's got other farming experiences to do, but I'm going to miss him. I really, really am. So that's going to go, let's see, yeah, corn is going to go up in that field by Nicholson Farm. I think that's 41. And then I think 43 is the other field that is um, up by the sawmill stuff. So we got to get those two fields playing with the corn. It's going to take me a while. I'm going to be here all freaking day for crying out loud. Maybe I can get one of the boys. All the boys are back. John is here. David is here. Albert is here. You bet you. We're all ready to work hard and get things done. And kind of go from there. Now let's just park this tractor. Uh, I got the I got the uh, planter out. I got it filled with seed and fertilizer already. So we'll put this back in the shed and we'll hop into that one. And let's head up to um, I, I think it's let's look uh, forty yeah forty one. I was right. Holy buckets! I was right. Forty one and forty three. Now I should double check what the uh, soil composition is. Oh, forty one needs lime. Crap. I didn't apply any fertilizer on 43 either. That's going to be a bummer. Oh, man, here, that was all ready to go. Because um, corn is going to go on 41 and 43. Now, our cotton is going to is going to follow our tobacco. So we got to wait till I get that harvested here, and then we can plant the cotton in there. And then um, the other stuff that I did spend the money on, 13 and 12, that is going to be for barley, right? Yeah, barley. And then, of course, we have 44 here. I'm trying to think. Let me look at the rotation. Let me get, I, we had to redo this because of the update. Yeah, we got cotton, corn, barley, hemp, tobacco. So the other ones were going to be barley. And then the uh, 44 is going to put in some hemp, put in some more hemp. So we should be good to go following the rotation in that department. Now, the problem is I totally forgot about... Let's see. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I probably should, but it's already been... It's already The field's already been worked. So let's jump into the other New Holland. We can go up to 40, 43. 43, because that doesn't need lime. I'll have to put lime on 41. Maybe I'll have one of the boys run over there and do that real quick. But we can get some corn planted in the ground up there in the fancy New Holland 8340. I love this tractor, too. I'm a big fan of all these tractors. Look at this. Nice and neat. You sit you sit back. You got good view. I even got a computer screen. I got GPS of this puppy. So we're set to go. And I do have corn in there already. So we are ready to go. So let's... Uh, Take a little yonder up to field 43, and we'll um, get some corn planted in there. That'd be kind of that'd be kind of nice. Get some corn on the corn on the field. We did change our crop rotation a little bit from year one, so we're not going to mess around with the uh, vegetables and the fruits anymore because we we do have the um, hop garden. You know, our fancy little hop thing that we're raising hops on there. So that's going to take care of the hops. So we we don't need to have hops in our uh, field rotation. So I'm kind of excited about that. So we allow us to plant some more tobacco, hemp, uh, cotton, barley, and corn because we are going to start, we're going to provide a contract for the whiskey. So I'm excited about that. I mean, who doesn't? Who? I mean, who doesn't like whiskey? And then of course we have the uh, flour mill. And then what was, it, what was the other thing we had? We had. Uh, um, I, I tell you, what, oh look up, buddy. Uh, it, it really is tough being gone <laughs> all this long. You kind of, you kind of forget what the heck you're doing. But that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Let's see. Oh, get up there, New Holland. Come on, you can do it. This is going to take me forever. Um, what? We had this field all ready to go. We had this field all ready to go. It was plowed and everything. What in the world is happening here? Um, boy, I have really... I have really, <laughs> I have really screwed this up. It doesn't need to be plowed, but I, oh, thanks for saving again. I hit the wrong button. I don't think my, um, my planter 
Additionally, she knows Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, things are working out. Things are going badly, but on the other hand, things are working out. I can I can direct drill with this thing. Okay, well, that's even better yet then. Um, well, you know, I, I think the problem is, is I had the I had the, the screw up. Coming back coming back in here to year two, I, I you know, I had all that big problem, so I redid it. And apparently I just uh, kind of missed a few things here. But let's see, let's see, how does this look? We'll get this lined up here to the Massey Ferguson 511L. That an L or a two, two four L four five Z four. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all going to do the same thing. Get that big puppy turned on. We'll lower it down. Let's see. You know what? I think I do have. Um, I think I do have GPS on this thing. Up and running like a charm. Corn is going on the ground in this fine and outstanding uh, harvested wheat field. The Massey Ferguson 511 is doing a, doing a pretty good, darn good job. Doing a darn good job. So we got that going. Um, this, this is going to take me a while, but it's okay. Um, you know, it's okay. I don't mind it. I got a little bit of offset in there to uh, overlap a little bit. I don't know why. I, I probably I, I thought I had that fixed, but it, it does say a little bit there. But we'll get that. We'll get that worked out. We're getting corn in the ground here. This is pretty nice. Um, working speed of nine miles per hour. How do you like them apples? So I like it. I like it a lot. I probably should do a little bit of a headland here. I probably should do a couple headlands to make sure that this thing goes pretty good. But this new Holland is, is really is, is really pulling this fine. Nine miles an hour. You know, I wish we had a. Hey, look at that. The thing came on there. Hey, it's that track. Hey, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. It actually the sound. It's actually pretty cool. Um, there. One row of corn already in the ground. I, I was gonna say, um, you know, when we do a lot of field work, we kind of we look at a thing called slippage. <laughs> Come on, don't get so excited. Um, but yeah, uh, slippage. Let's see. There we go. Got that working. Um, which is a wheel slippage. So I, you know, I kind of wish we had that a little bit of a realistic wheel slip there. Would be kind of cool. But this is actually working out pretty good. Corn is in the ground. Fertilizing two at the same time. So when we look at our um, soil composition there, yeah, so look at that. Uh, I have no idea <laughs> why it's so way off. Um, I'm planting the whole thing. Uh, the, the, it's off there a little bit. And, and I'm thinking about it, they're all kind of off there a little bit, aren't they? A little off kilter. They're like a shadow, like a raised box shadow. I don't know, maybe it is. But it's working. I mean, it, it's going. We don't have the... Uh, yeah, I suppose you could say it's kind of it's more of a solid seeding kind of texture there than a than a uh, row crop texture, but nonetheless it's it's still going it's still working. So let's see it's 11:24. Oh excuse me, man another slimy uh, slug. 11:24 uh, in the uh, morning. Did I say evening morning? Man, I'm losing it. It's um, this is gonna yeah this is gonna take me quite a while unless I get one of the other boys to come down here and do a little work for me. But I don't know. I'm trying to think what else do I have really going on. I got um, just some planting, I suppose. Let's think, think about that. I suppose if I could do this for a little bit and then um, get everything set up. Yeah, I'm going to put in a headland here. Get everything set up. I should have done it in the first place. That was kind of dumb with me. I always do a headland. Um, things set up. I could go down, and I think our new Holland. Well, actually, i gotta go. I got to go put down some... Um, I gotta go put down some lime on that field, the next field. But oh, let's just check out our two um, barley fields down here, uh, 12 and 13. So we can take off fertilizing. So they don't need any of that, and they already have. So I can get the other planter set up with barley and go down and start planting these two fields too, because 44, 40. Where are you? I lost. Um, oh crap! Where the hell? Oh, 44. There you are, right above the farm. That's gonna be hemp. And then we still have, I'm trying to think, let's go back to growth here. Um, one and two. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Well, I can't remember what was in one and two. One and one we had. One did we have hemp in one? And two is soybeans, I think. Yeah, that's what it was. So hemp and soybeans, what's wrong button? So hemp would be tobacco, another field of tobacco. And soybeans we don't we took out of the rotation, so we could basically do whatever we wanted to. Then it's not going to make much of a difference. Um, I already have all those tobacco fields. I don't want to put another tobacco field in there. So we could just start them off with 
cotton, maybe? I don't know. We have two barley fields, two corn, two huge corn fields. We're good in that department. Because um, what are we going to have? Well, we're going to have, yeah, these four are tobacco. This is hops, which is going to be changed out. And then these two are going to be um, hemp here. There's hemp already growing here. I don't know what we should do with those two things. Um, I don't know. We, we can think about it, but I could go start the two barley fields so we have those to do as well. So we got lots of work to do here. But let me uh, carry on here for a little bit. I'll do it for maybe a little while here, and we'll see what the... Um, what the oh, drive straight there. Quit swerving like a drunk man. See what the time gets to be, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. All righty. Good old buddy Albert came down. He is going to do some corn planting. You now we got everything all set up. GPS is working. We got both headlands done. And he brought up the big four-wheel drive. The big new Holland. I tell you what, I'm, ex I'm excited to uh, drive this puppy. The 9882. It's, um, it leaves something to be desired. But for our purpose and all our intents and purposes, it's not, you know, yeah, it's just a little, um, you know, it is what it is. But... I did spend some money. I spent 47000 Holy bucket. Look at this big boy go. This is... I'm looking forward to plowing some ground and with this thing. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. But anyways, we're going to head down to the dealership. I spent $47,000. I did buy a uh, spreader because I didn't own one. We have we have a uh, ter or a uh, roll gator, but we don't have a uh, some apparatus to spread the line. So I'm thinking we might as well go get the next field ready to go. So we're going to do that is we're going to spread some lime on there. Oh, crap, trees. And then we're going to, um, I'm going to plow it in. I'm going to plow the lime in because that's what you'd have to do. So we're going to do that. And I I didn't think that the uh, other new Holland would be a good choice of trekker to uh, pull this thing full of lime. We do have some lime in our silo on the farm, so we're good to go in that department. So we can just go pick up our little spreader. Fill it up with lime, and we'll head up to the uh, field 41 up by the old Nicholson Farm Shop machinery. And, hey, bacon and repair. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. So I think the easiest way is just to kind of cut through the yard here. Come on there, buddy. Let's go. You got a big new Holland behind you. I mean, you can't even drive faster for crying out loud. Look at that. You're so small, I can't even see you. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Pull through the yard here. Head down to the dealership. Sophie is making me a bacon sandwich. I'm excited about that. I, I love bacon sandwiches. I absolutely love bacon sandwiches. Hey, Sophie. Yep, she didn't like my painting comment earlier, though. She thought that was a little... Whoa, crap. Oh, brakes. Yeah, I can't, you can't stop on a dime in this thing. No sorry about Look at those hops. Yeah, I don't know. So basically, we have one, two, three, four, five fields that need to be planted yet and then well six with the other corn one but five kind of undecided fields this hop field once that is because that was a winter planting i think once um that's ready to go we got to turn that around so we'll have to think about that and kind of um, go into our options there as far as our rotation goes i'm kind of going man this is taking forever come on traffic go a little faster let's get this thing uh oh hey the gate's down um, open up. Yeah, I'm coming through. They have our little spreader right out front. We did get with the uh, six, uh, the spreading discs on the back, a little extension on there, the bradle. I mean, it's kind of an average one. Uh, whoa, the buckets. I tell you what, you when you want to hit, hit the brakes, you got to keep going forward for a while. Get this hooked up. We'll go through this with, with lime. Now, that's going to be expensive. This is going to be spendy. I, I think for filling this up with lime is going to cost a fortune, but um, got that picked up. Forty-seven thousand bucks for this uh, little spreader. That's okay. We got sixty-three thousand dollars. Oh man, I got to be careful with the brakes. Whoa, holy crap! I almost hit the black Prius driving butthole. Uh, I got to be careful with the uh, this tractor because I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit something. I am going to certainly hit something. It is what it is. It's, it's okay. It's all good. I was also going to say, before I interrupted myself, uh, Bumper's Dynasty. Yeah, I'm hoping you'll see that later this afternoon. I think right now, today, well, of course, today is almost Monday, but you're going to see this Monday morning. 
So I hope you're having a great Monday. I hope you had a good weekend. The holidays are here. Merry Christmas to you all. It's a little early yet, but uh, you know, Merry Christmas when it comes. Uh, hopefully trying to do some fun things over the uh, holidays here and uh, get some get some cool things out there. Get the farm crew back together. That, whoa, stop. You went almost flew right by. Okay, just, uh, oh, that's going to bother me. Come on. Uh, stop there. Get actually into the, into the, as a golf cart would say, the wiggle bottoms. Come on. Get your wiggle bottoms in there. There we go. Now you can actually pour into, into the thing. So we'll see how much this is going to cost, and then we'll head up to uh, field 41. We'll get that limed, and then I'm going to get that plowed. Uh, Albert is still busy doing the corn planting up there. It's going to take him a while. Hey, you got a little hay bale sitting there. I'm trying to think um, as that fills up there. Let's see. Seed tender, yeah, we got, we're going to need to fill the other planter. Because um, like I said, we have the other tractor sitting here. We could take the loader off that. We could put that on the, uh, let's, do, let's do that real quick. We'll get that ready to go for barley and get that filled up with barley. Um... Let's just put the loader down here. I tell you what, I have all these employees and nobody wants nobody wants to show up around here. It's like they don't show up until you call them. Like, terrible, absolutely just terrible, just terrible. So, I hope this great playing seed. I'm having trouble with the Massey Ferguson filling up out of the um -f 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 uh, seed tender there. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe go back to the gauze. I think it was a good, that was a good gauze, and the updated one was even more meatier. I think maybe go back to that at this um -f 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 I mean, I could try those and see if they can fill the planter, but when it doesn't fill the planter, it kind of sucks. We do have the uh, pallet racking in there that I could just go and get some off of, but um, I will be okay. Let's see, pull into here, hook up to the, um, or actually this is a John Deere, this is a John Deere, I was thinking Great Plains, this is a John Deere one. Hook up to this thing, and this is going to go plant our barley for us. This tractor... Down there at the dealership, I tell you what, my dealership guru, Zeke and Streak himself, this is the Zeker Streaker, uh, he uh, told me that this tractor is going to work just fine with this cedar, so I went with it, and I hope he's right. I hope he's right. But we'll get this ready to go. Maybe have John come down and do it, I don't know. We'll find we'll find somebody and get that uh, up and running, get some barley in the ground. We're, you know, third day of mid-spring, I better double-check this because we are on six days. Yeah, I kept it on six days. So, third day of mid-spring, not too bad. I mean, we're, because if you look at the season's calendar for planting barley, I mean, we can plant barley all the way up to the end of um, end of spring, so the temperature is just perfect there. So we're good to go in that department. Uh, like I said, I'm hoping the, uh, well, this thing takes liquid fertilizer too, I believe. Yeah, it does, it takes liquid fertilizer. See, I don't think this is gonna work here. I can't, um, all these great intentions. Just kind of get shot down. Oh, that's that one's working. Oops. That was working. But it doesn't open the cover, though. Um. Oh, crap! Come back here! But it's not filling up. Yeah, it's not filling up. Um. Oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah, I'm putting some bushels of wheat in there. I wonder how much I have in the tender yet. i got to figure that out, too. But we want we want barley, so we get that to barley. Now, liquid fertilizer. Oh, crap, I don't think I have any. So I'm pretty sure this thing takes liquid fertilizer. Do we have any liquid fertilizer? Um, I don't think so. No, we do not have any liquid fertilizer. So I'll have to get some liquid fertilizer. I need to get myself like a liquid fertilizer storage tank of some sort. Um, get some liquid fertilizer delivered up here, so that'll be ready to go. And then uh, we can get barley planted in those two fields down there. The lime should be full. We're at 60000 bucks. So, actually, you know what? We're not sitting too bad. Hey, the dealership's going to bring me down some liquid fertilizer. We'll hop into the big blue here, and we'll head up towards that field up there, and we'll get some lime. But like I said, I don't think um, with all this lime and this big boy that that new Holland would have pulled it. And you know what? We're you know we don't got to worry about uh, tire marks and uh, ruts and everything. It's pretty dry, so we're gonna plow it. We're gonna plow it again anyways. So we get that done. Corn planting is commencing. Sophie is working inside the house. Made me a couple bacon sandwiches. I'm really impressed with that. That tobacco crop. I tell you what. I, I you know we do have a loan. Is our loan 850 or 860 something like that that we came back from Pineapple um, Bay with? We do have a huge loan. But I'm thinking, I, I'm thinking, 
that we are going to uh, make some pretty good money over the course of this um, this year. Now, questions still remain. I don't know. You know, Sophie and I had this place down in um, Brazil, kind of eye out out for the winter. You know, we're thinking about doing that. I mean, that's it. Come on. What in the world, Trekker? Uh, you're like you're struggling here. So I think that's probably a, a, a very good option for us. But, um, you know, we're, we get to that point where you just... Um, Sophie and I can move around. We, you know, let's be honest. We like we like new things, new adventures, new places to go. So we're kind of thinking about one. And, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll find it and we'll be happy with it. You never know. So let's get this field... Um, Okay, I'll just jump in the pickup real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, I, I didn't know that I could actually teleport myself. But we just jumped in the pickup. Let's, let's get this thing. Oh, crap. That was terrible. That was a terrible start. That was an absolute terrible start when they come to lime in there. Holy criminy. I'm telling you. I, maybe I got to go find Becky. Maybe Becky. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I'm just flustered. Uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, poor Becky. She, can, she needs to go to the salon for crying out loud. That is just... Um, Despicable, but look at that 12 miles an hour. That's not too bad getting some lime spread up here And then like I say I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna get this thing uh, plowed We're just gonna plow plow the lime in and get it plowed and we'll be good to go in that department And there's that fancy dancy uh, Whiskey distillery. That's where we got to get that's where we're uh, oh crap. I almost took off the uh, the arm spreader there. Sorry about that Bredo. Um, geez, I can't drive. I, oh Man, you know what? I wish, I just wish, I, I really do wish that just one day somebody would tell me, you know what, man, you are such an awesome driver. You really are great. I tell you what, I strive to be as good a driver as you are, but uh, I never hear that crap. So, yeah, the, the uh, Jack Daniels right there, so we got to be busy with that stuff, and then um, the other places right there. Why, why can't I think of what the other place was? I, I'm having a total um, lapse of memory. I know the mill is down there, and then what was the other one down by the port? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The other thing we got to worry about, too, is, well, let's see, it's a little early for grass work yet. I guess I, I was thinking that we were later, but only the third day of spring. We can certainly get to some grass work here down the road, fire up that New Holland, and see how that works. But I'm glad I went with the extension because we had 15, you now we have like 15 tons left in here. So I should have plenty to do, oh, I'm going to have plenty to do this field, I know that. And then maybe even do another field after that as well. Well, no, we didn't have any more field that needed a line. This is the only one. So we're good to go. I could. Let's just double check because I don't. Yeah, because soil composition. Um, if we take off fertilizing, plowing. So, yeah, none of those need lime. 41 needs lime, which we're doing. Um, 43 is good. There goes Albert up there. Uh, 16 and 15 are good. 13 and 12. So, so I don't really don't have to lime anything else. Um, so yeah. So that's actually going to work out uh, pretty good then, I guess. I don't... We can just save this. Um, put it back in our silo. Save it because I, I'm probably going to want to use this for... Well, let's just double check. Yeah, well, thanks for saving it again. Let's go to... Let's take off lime. Let's just go to fertilizing. Well, actually, everything is... Good to go in that department too as well, so I don't have to go out and I can't because there's no growth stage, of course. So, oh crap, do we need to go out and spray this tobacco field? Oh, we we got to get that done too. We get that rogator out in the tobacco fields and get them fertilized before before the end. Oh, we better do that as well. Okay, we got that to do yet too. Got to keep keep on top of all this stuff, you know, all this good you stuff there, there, Danny. Got to keep track of it. So we'll um. Finish this up, then I'm gonna get the plow hooked up to it, and we'll see how the uh, barley planting is going down there. Maybe maybe we can start that. I don't think anybody took the tracker down there yet. But like I said, this is not gonna this is not gonna take me very long here. This is over and done with in a jiffy. Over and done with in a jiffy. So it's one of those days. You know, spring is kind of like that. Spring is kind of like that where you're just you know you're running around planting, plowing, lime spreading, fertilizing. You got all this stuff going on. Check on the animals, you know, make sure your fields are okay. So basically, that's kind of all it is. And then once everything is planted, then you can take, and take a deep breath, do, do more animal work, you know, work on some production stuff, try to make some money. You know, we did we did get rid of our two old uh, 
sprayers and we bought that uh, rogator so we can actually look into doing some contract work as well that's not a bad idea i'm sure there is some right now for well you know what i hate to go back in the menu but let's just double let's just see what we got what's some big ones oh yes we got a lot of fertilizer we can get that rogator up and going too um 14 13 thousand we could we could do two of those i mean that's like twenty five thousand bucks and that'll all go and pay off that humongous debt i think that's not a bad idea not a bad idea not a bad idea but this tractor is certainly a good choice for the farm i, th I think it i think it really is it uh, it looks good it, it runs good it pulls good you know no slippage uh, plenty of horsepower here I, I can't remember off the top of my head how much horsepower we have you have to look that up too but uh, pulling this thing like a charm we'll get that plow hooked up and we'll get that um, ready to go and then once Albert is done with the corn over there on 43 he can come right down here and get the corn planted here like I said the two degrees soil temperature I'm not going to worry about the forecast uh, looks pretty decent and I don't think we're going to have any problems whatsoever with that so it should all um, should all work like a charm lime spreading has been completed and John radio radioed me and said uh, he ended up hopping into the 114 with the uh, drill and headed down to uh, field, let's see, he went to field uh, 12. So he is on field 12 getting the barley in the ground. So I'm excited about that. Uh, he, John's a good guy. I tell you what, John is a good, trustworthy young man. He can get things done and go from there no problem whatsoever so we have the one corn planter going we got the other one doing some barley the animals are well taken care of. i'm going to stop by and check on the hop gardens i'm going I'm to drop this uh spreader off first and i'm going to check on the hop gardens to make sure to see if we have anything to put in there and since we put in this little road through here with these gates i tell you what this has been easy access um, I am, uh, I'm loving it, you betcha. You know what? I had McDonald's the other day. It was absolutely disgusting. I, I think the guy spit in my burger. Uh, usually, usually, I, you know, I, I don't eat a lot of McDonald's. Um, you know, in my, in my town, we have, uh, let's see, we have Subway. We have Subway and McDonald's and, um, Taco John's. Now, oh, crap, I better have had Taco John's tonight. I, I'm kind of a big fan of Taco John's. And then, what in the heck am I doing? And then we have, um, well, as fast food. Those are only fat. fat food. I'm doing a garlic golf cart jockey. Um, yeah, Taco John's. <laughs> God, I, I, I have really, really foobarred this. Uh, you know what? We're going to leave it right there. That's okay. I'll fix it later. Too big of a tracker to try to back in there. Okay, let me, let me try to say this again. McDonald's, Taco John's, and Subway are three choices in my town. And uh, I had Taco John's tonight. I, I, I don't mind Taco John's. Taco John's is pretty good. But, you know, if you eat it so often, it's just, you know, I like anything, you eat that every day. But yeah, I had a McDonald's, and I wasn't, I'm a, you know what, I like McDonald's once in a while. Sometimes you just want a fry and a burger. But it was absolutely disgusting. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was gross. It was really gross. Then, of course, we have, um, Golf cart Jackie's favorite, Happy Joe's Pizza. Happy Joe's Pizza is good, but it's expensive. Like a large pizza is like twenty six bucks. I mean, it's it's, it's crazy. Uh, so you can say you get the you gotta get the coupons. You know, every once in a while they have a family meal deal. But anyways, yeah. Um, we used to have an Arby's. We used to have a Hardee's. Trying to think. Um, oh crap! I'm gonna check the. Let's leave that run here. Uh, let's check the hops out here. And I should go down and check on John. But Hardy, I like. Oh crap! We're kind of full here, aren't we? Look at that. Uh, we are. Um, Floating sign says we have full with hops. We have 7,800 liters of manure, and we need some water in there. Okay. Well, we can hold off the plowing for a little bit. Let's work on that. So what do I need to do? I need to get the, uh, let's see, the seed tender. I got to get the trailer hooked up. Um, where is my trailer? Um, somebody stole my trailer. I have a flat deck trailer. Where is my flat deck trailer? It's supposed to be parked. Um, uh, we have that one, but I, where's my big, where's my big flat tack trailer? So I think somebody stole my flat tack trailer. Apparently I should open my eyes more, uh, cause there's, <laughs> there's my flatbed trailer right there. We're going to put the uh, seed tender right in here and, uh, we'll unhook that. So we're good to go in that department. Let's look up to these hops and we'll drive by and we'll check on John, see how he's doing. And we can, um... 
Whoa, crap, look at that. That was a little wheelie there. Uh, get these hop. I tell you, I, this hop garden thing is just going berserk. I mean, it, it is really going berserk. Let's see if you want that on there. Uh, I'm forgetting how many we can get on here, but we just have this little bit here. So we'll be able to don't, don't drive off the cliff there. That would be bad. So we got all that. Now, the question is hops. Where is the best place to sell hops? Man, it seems like I just did this. Uh, is I, I continue to drive backwards? Hops. Oh, crap. Hops. You know, and then somebody told me that. You just um, click on hops. Uh... 6106 at the Western Mill. The Western Mill. The Western Mill. Everybody want to go to the Western Mill? Dude, uh, Western Mill. Oh, way up there. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's just drive south here. We'll check on John real quick. We'll head to the Western Mill, and we will sell these hops. And then, uh, you know what? I might, um, I don't know. I might do some night, night plowing tonight. Go get, go up there and get that field plowed tonight yet, yeah, too. Because the way it looks, we're only going to have one, um, whoa, slow down. Uh, we're going to have the one cornfield is going to be done. We'll have the one cornfield done. And then we'll have, well, I think, I think John will probably get these two barley fields done. I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll get them two done because it's not taking him that long at all. And he's doing such a fantastic job. But the corn, corn plant is going a little slower. And that is a pretty big darn field up there. It is. Oh, that good looking tobacco. It just makes you want to go up there and smoke it. Damn good tobacco. Okay, let's see. I think I want to turn here. This is a nice Dodge Ram pickup too, isn't it? You betcha. Let's see. John should be right up here. These are our new acquired fields, part of our um, big, big debt that we got ourselves into. Did I go too far or did I not go far enough? Um, where is John? Right here. There's John. There he is. He is, uh, oh crap, he's almost done here. He's got this field to do and then the one right next door. So he's doing pretty good there. He might need seed. I don't know if he needs seed. I'll have to bring him some. Because uh, the tender does work there. Good. I, I suppose I could bring it on a... Well, I don't have another tractor. One day, if I make some money, I'm going to have to get a little yard tractor. That could... Um, well, no, the seed tender, I can't pull the tractor. It's got a, it's got a goose neck like this one does. Um, hi, John. How you doing? Ooh, I'll get out of your way, John. Um, Finding all setting job there, John. That uh, That's a good-looking tractor and planter setup, if I tell you. Oh, yeah. John's doing good. We got out of your way, John. Sorry about that. Just wanted to make sure you're okay. And we'll head up to the Western Mill. We'll sell these hops. If I don't remember, if I remember right, hops is pretty good money. But that hops garden. Oh, oh! I thought I lost my truck. I thought my truck. I thought my truck turned off there. I couldn't hear it anymore. Western Mill. Let's see. Do I want to go all up? If I go all the way down. Oh yeah, I'll just go all the way down here, and then we'll take a um, a right or my, my other right. Yeah, I'm from Minnesota. Give me a break. Uh, take a left. And that'll take us up to the uh, Western Mill. We'll sell these hops. I can just cruise. I am Speedy Gonzalez here. Not like Hop Back, we get a ticket. in West Virginia, Joe has to pay for them all. You bet you. Okay, we turn that off. What am I still looking at that for? Good looking hops. Yeah, that hop garden. I tell you, that is um, being very, very productive. And uh, if, if we make some good money on that, I, I might decide to purchase a um, utility trailer. I'm going to have to do that as well. The utility trailer. Then once we get all the crops in the ground, I gotta get those spruce trees cut down, and we can expand back there a little bit. Maybe put some other stuff in. I don't know. Um, kind of go from there. Just kind of, kind of go from there. Hey, several header, how you doing? I just <laughs> looked over my screen. Sarah header, if you're watching, how you doing? Hope all is well, buddy. Uh, I gotta reply back to you. I'll, I'll get there eventually. Here, just um, give me a little time. Give me a little time. A little time. Time is on my side. Yes, it is. Let's see. I suppose. Um, oh, yeah. We can turn in here. Like a little circle drive thing in here. There you can see what we actually got in here. We got the mill. I know we got the mill. There's the Jack Daniels. And the uh, livestock market is right there. Patterson's livestock. You betcha. And then we have um, the garden center. There's the garden center. And then coming around here, we have the flour mill. That's where our barley is going to go. And um, this little spinnery is there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Paper. Yeah, fancy, fancy paper. That's what it was. That's exactly what it was. How could I forget the fancy, fancy paper? Um, if I remember right, let's see. Uh, cotton. Yeah, that's where our cotton is going to go to make tissue. That's right. We're going to make some tissue. 
Um, if you haven't seen that, uh, never mind. I'll, I'll leave that to him. Uh, he kind of brought me onto this thing with the multicolored TP. Uh, I, I like it. I like it. But that's you know, it's another use, another use for our cotton. So we have so much cotton. Oh crap! I got to go in here. Uh, no, that's the flour mill. I got to keep going. What am I? Ah uh, man, get with the program here. Oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. But we'll see what we get in hops, and we'll kind of go from there. And then I got to go. I'm going to get done here, then I got to go see Becky. I got to go see hi to Becky and see how her hair afro is today here with her. Um, whoa, crap. Um, let's see. We just want to. Did that work? Don't tell me I have to unload each individual box. Um, oh, come on. I'm going to go nuts. Um you off oh holy crap look at that 62,375 bucks wow that was not too shabby 62,000 bucks for some hops man I like that that that's almost a uh, garden tractor kind of right there but we'll just uh, I think I think you know what I think we're gonna be frugal I think we're going to be frugal. I think we're just going to try to make some money. Got to get some water back into the hop garden. We'll kind of go from there. But, uh, yeah, we'll call her a day right there. Things are progressing. Things have been planted. We got the hop sold. We got to get some water. Animals taken care of. So we're slowly, slowly getting there. $840,000 debt. We got to get that taken care of. But everybody's being productive and we're busy. And life is good. Well, my friends. You have yourself a great Monday. Have a great week, a great uh, holiday season. Merry Christmas to you all. Hopefully we'll see you uh, the next few days here and uh, try to do some exciting stuff because we have to, you know, of course, it's, it's tradition. We have to do the, the Christmas giveaways. Yeah, we, we did that last year. Oh, yeah, we had a lot of fun last year doing that. I think we were on, um, I think we were on Ravenport doing the Christmas giveaways, I think. And then what we did is we did some, yeah, we gave away a uh, gaming chair, gift card oh yeah we had a lot of fun but anyways um thanks for stopping by i appreciate it have yourself a great monday a great week merry christmas to y'all and we will see you here in the near future so long my friends